Hello and welcome back to another reaction. In this occasion, My Hero Academia, episode 20 of the third season. Last time we saw the attack of a villain uh, while they were uh, rescuing the hurt people, the professional victims. And yeah, some of you told me that, yeah, it's not of your uh, liking, that yes, you have to put an attack, even if it's a fake attack, uh, to maintain the uh, high humor of the, well, the high octane in the animation. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with you and kind of disagree. Why I say this? I agree with you because, yes, it will have been interesting to see the heroes just rescuing uh, victims, just... Uh, trying to save somebody without another, uh, well, external attack. Uh, because, yes, we have seen a lot of that. We have seen in the training camp, we have seen in the USJ situation. Uh, the only place in we haven't seen an attack direct towards the rest of the students was during the uh, sports festival because yes even during the exams we kind of saw an attack yes it's just like this one the villains are really good people who are trying to train these new heroes and therefore it's not a completely villain but yes it's supposed to they are supposed to be villains in the exam i mean uh, during the final exam so yes we have seen several uh, villains attacks so yeah it will be interesting to see only to organize uh, rescue it will be very difficult to really portray something exciting because yes the excitement comes from the novelty because after that is just working very monotonous monotonously uh, to rescue somebody especially because you need to be careful with all the circumstances as a uh, Momo said in the last video that you need to be careful or it's going to uh, trample, etc, etc. Uh, so, yes, I kind of agree really, it will have been inter interesting to see that, but it will really be a moment just of excitement. Perhaps if they could have uh, put, I don't know, another, uh, uh, I really don't know, an earthquake or a simulated earthquake or a simulated storm. It will have make it a lot more interesting because they need to work faster and in case of a terrible storm and uh, a lot of people will be drowning or something or another. Perhaps there is another way to make this exciting without the use of a villain or a fake villain in this case. But uh, as, again, the same commenter, uh, the same comment said, in the universe makes sense because you are exposed to the villain's attacks and yes, you need to be ready to uh, well, rescue somebody while being uh, attacked by somebody else, by a villain in this case. So yeah, that's why I said I agree and disagree. I understand why they did it, but I would love to see a little bit more of an imagination in the circumstances of a rescue. Yeah, that's what you have to deal with. Uh, that's what we have to deal with in that moment. But anyway, I think this is going to be a very exciting episode to see the villains attack and really to see another hero, a professional hero among the top 10 dealing with several students and really trying to block the rescue uh, that they're supposed to be doing. But anyway, yes, I think I spoke enough about this episode in the last video. And yes, I really, really did a long intro now. So yeah, let's just cut all of these and watch the next episode, shall we? What? Oh, new presentation. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yes, exactly. Yes! What? Why? Exactly! What? Yes, why? Okay! This is... Say... What? Here. Okay. Holy, there's just yes, just six. 
Yes, what the hell is going on? I don't think so. Okay, a hypothetical villain. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I love the control that I saw had. Okay, what? I get what the hell is going on? Oh, they're facing back and going, yeah. That speaks volumes of that. Yes! <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> A lot of teachers. Oh. Oh, she is holding back the nausea. Oh, the same uniform that was in the o uh, the OVAs. Oh, okay, those are the hostages. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You rushed too fast! What the hell did you do? Oh, yes, exact. What? Wait, what? Okay, this is a lot more interesting than I thought at the beginning. Yes! <laughs> okay, we have to check. Ah, uh, no, I saw a knife. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yes, I saw the knife. Okay, this is some more interesting case. Oh, okay. It's kind of a case of clue. <laughs> okay. Seriously? Okay, yeah, because the information he was given by him is useless. What? <laughs> I love the overacting of this thing. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. ぞ、ぞしなくてはならない状況に。オッケー。なぜ私がそんなことする必要が。止めたかったからじゃないんですか。ビラン。But Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. I love the overacted of this. Okay. Yeah, the teachers are really into their role. <laughs> I love the freaking drama that they created around it. Okay, this is a weird, a weird, a really weird episode. Tukiro? <laughs> yes, exactly! <laughs> what the hell? Yes, <laughs> no, of course she is! It was my acting! <laughs> yes, it was! Midoriya. 
Holy! Well, yes, it's Midoriya. It's Midoriya, seriously. <laughs> Probably the quirk, yes. Yes! It makes sense, but how's a quirk that prevent him from dying like that or something like that? Seriously! That was part! <laughs> Seriously! Okay, this is so weird. You did this every yeah, I'm scary! I agree with Bakugo. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, the little drama that they created. <laughs> that was no law. Yes, there was no law. Holy! <laughs> what the hell? Again, I think I have a thing for Blouse because I love the way she looks. Damn it! I'm not predictable. Seriously. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, that car appears in the trailer too. So I think I understand the. Okay, I understand why. What? What? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I love the name, I Island. Holy! <laughs> yeah, that bumbling. Holy! Okay, that's very high tech. Oh, holy! Okay. I don't think that's getting only intention. Right now? Seriously? Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, this is too sudden. Okay. This episode, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but it feels weird to have it right here. Because yes, I know about the movie, I know, I have watched the trailers, I have watched all of that. Yeah, this is, this was obviously a prequel to the movie. In certain points, because yes, the story that was developed here is almost unimportant. It is a weird episode, if you can call it that, to be honest. My assumption that this is not in the manga, because I doubt the manga just interrupt the freaking uh, license exam to this. So, yeah, as always, I'm going to watch this again. I really have a really a defined opinion of the episode. But yeah, as always, I'm gonna watch this again to see some, if I miss something and if I put my comments. See you in a bit. Yes, yeah, there is an extra scene. Oh, <laughs> seriously, all my learn? I think my personal space is invaded. Yeah, there wasn't any love. Yes, you're right there. I knew it. It's kind of a prequel for the movie. Okay, I don't think I have the others near me with that. <laughs> I love this kind of... Gang Orca. Yes, that's what I wanted to see! Come on! I want to see the professional hero license. Yes! <laughs> Okay. 
Plus Ultra, okay. So yeah, that's the preview, and yeah, I'm not gonna watch that one. Uh, yeah, that was the extra scene. Uh, yeah, there's not much to tell. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I just watched a second time this kind of a special episode of uh, Boku no Hero Academia. It is... <sighs> It is an odd one. It doesn't feel like a real episode in no way. And yes, my guess is this has nothing to do with the manga. It doesn't feel... I don't want to say right, but it feels odd, as I said in the beginning. I think I have no other way to describe this one. And yes, the first scene... They even skip the bit in which uh, Midoriya describes how the school works and he's enrolled there and all that. No, they just put an extra scene with Midoriya and All Might. And yes, this is kind of a warning for the viewer. This is not following the story we have been seeing so far. This will follow something else. Kind of a... Uh... A weird intersection that there's the intersection, go right, and then go back to the real story and straightforward, like nothing happened. Because, yes, this is supposed to happen uh, just after the exams, when they all pass, before the, uh, the training camp. Because, yes, Bakugo is here and he hasn't changed much. Uh, because All Might is still uh, keeps his muscular form. Because yes, after the uh, after the cam, uh, the next time that we can see All Might and Bakugo in the same scene uh, is after he, when he was rescued or while he was being rescued. So therefore, after that, uh, All Might can no longer maintain the muscular form. So yeah, and it's a very specific uh, period of time. Yes, the beginning of summer vacations, but before summer camp. And yeah, it's... I don't think I have much to analyze here. Because yeah, the first scene after that, after the opening, it's kind of a preparation for the movie. Because everything that was uh, watched in that little screen within the, my guess is the teacher's uh, lounge, it has to do with the movie. Uh, I have seen, as I said before, the trailer for the movie. I haven't watched the movie, but yes, all the aspects of that. The mention of the scientists, uh, the, the car I saw, uh, the uniform that All Might had, the fact that he has normal eyes, which is incredibly weird. For me, I kind of still get used to the normal eyes of uh, All Might. <laughs> yeah, everything screams movie. The movie. Uh, and yes, this is kind of a special class during summers, uh, during, during the summer. Uh, they opened the school to give this a special class, and there were only six students, six students there. Um, the six students were, of course, Bakugo, Midoriya, Todoroki, the three big, more powerful. Uh, queer users in the classroom. Uh, it was Suyu, it was Ida, and it was uh, Ochako. Kind of the next to the protagonist, in this case, uh, Midoriya, and the two more powerful, Bakugo and Todoroki, the two kind of antagonists for Midoriya, and of course, my guess is the three most popular after them, or something like that. I am still not sure why they choose these three particular guys. Perhaps Ida, because yes, he's probably the fourth or fifth powerful in the class. Uh, Ucha uh, Ochako and Suyu, my guess is because they are popular. Uh, they don't stand out in a string or something like that. I like her. I like them. Sorry. Uh, I like them. Don't get me wrong. I really like Ochako and Suyu. But yeah, it's kind of weird to see them not, let's say, Kirishima or Tokoyami or somebody else like that. Hell, even Momo. And so yeah, it's fascinating this small group and why they were selected. And yes, I know perhaps I'm overanalyzing everything here because there is so little to analyze. But anyway, yeah, they received the instruction, they're going to receive a special class and a lot of more teachers are going to participate in the class. In this case, All Might, Midnight, Cementos and President Mike. Uh, 
Yeah, the special ca the special classes they will try to capture a villain. In this case, a fake villain, All Might. And yes, he's using the same villain uniform that he used uh, in the first OBA. Uh, so I don't know if it has the same relevance as the OBA, the first OBA, or not. I am still not sure of anything right now. Anyway, yes, they have to see the situation, the hostile situation. They need to analyze everything that is around them. And that's why they send Ochako, because it's kind of the one that is uh, the more uh, useful in this situation. Because, yes, she can float and it can be very quiet because she doesn't use propulsion or anything else. Just She was just pushed by Deku and she could uh, see the situation. Luckily, the villain didn't look up. Or didn't see her so yeah they could figure out that there was just one villain and three hostages hostages uh, yeah as uh, Bakugo start quite calm really analyzing the situation because he was the one who sent Raka to check the situation yes as we know Bakugo is smart very very smart uh, I think is the third or the four uh, smartest in the class so yes uh, it kind of makes sense, but unfortunately for Bakugo and the rest, Bakugo is very impatient. So he just jumped into action because he took the advantage that the villain was just by the window. But of course, the real situation that was portrayed here is the kill, the, the kill of the villain. You should figure it out what happened there. Uh, and yes, but I guess they take into account the way Bakugo behaves. That's why they use this new situation or they adapt to this new situation. They need to figure out who killed the bad guy in here. And of course, the main suspects were the three hostages. They need to figure out why they kill him, if they kill him, uh, and uh, how they did that. Because yes, this seems to be a formidable uh, villain in this case. Uh, and yes, everything in the in the uh, jewelry shop uh, was created to see that yes, only these three guys were the culprits. The only ones who could be the killer were, were one of those three. Uh, but of course, the situation wasn't as easy as you thought. Uh, every single of the stories kind of connect with each other, makes sense. And yes, the situation was prepared for the stories to make sense, even for the other hostages. Uh, and of course, it's weird to analyze something like this. But anyway, uh, and of course, the situation, again, it's very weird. And the way that Midoriya deduced that after the interrogation of all the hostages, after the inspection of the wallets, because yes, perhaps one of them didn't have enough money and was kind of a companion to the villain or something like that. Uh, they inspect and they do that, yes, indeed the villain just act alone. And he was barricaded because the police arrived just on time. Um, yeah, it's it was prepared to be completely confusing. But again, I don't see enough clues to deduce the real situation, just as uh, Midoriya did. Perhaps Midoriya really has an amazing uh, sense of observation within the world, but I find that hard to believe. It's kind of a weird situation to deduce all the things that they could deduce with the information given here. Because how the hell did you know that really she was the one who called the police? Did you check for a phone? Or even you find a phone later on? Or what? So yeah, it's pretty weird. And it's, to be honest, pretty weak, the information. Yes, of course, the plot device that was here, that, yeah, Midoriya is supposed to be completely correct. And uh, yeah, it's more of a plot to entertain you for 20 minutes. It's not deep, it's not that important even in the long run. It's just that, for you to be entertained for 20 minutes. And yes, it's funny, and all the drama that <laughs> created the, all the little drama all this soap opera that was created in this scenario it's amazing yes uh, the villain killed himself because he loved one of the one of the hostages because she and she wanted to stop him from robbing and uh, giving up that life of crime and all that 
Uh, yeah, it's very soap opera. Uh, <laughs> it's very, very ridiculous. Yes, and I agree in this one with Bakugo. What a joke, man. It was unbelievable. So, yeah, the case, of course, uh, was exactly just as uh, Midoriya said. And the funny part is the reaction of Midnight. Because, yeah, she was the main actress in this scenario. She was just overacting in the correct way, of course. A very exaggerated, but a very good actress, I have to say. Man, like, was top notch. And yes, I know I'm gonna sound like Mineta again, but my god, she looks beautiful in that dress. Okay, I said my Mineta part, now I'm gonna continue with this one. Uh, yeah, it's drama that was created around this scenario and yes I love in the moment that Aizawa said okay yeah that's enough of you guys thank you for the participation in the moment Midna is snapped out of her character and returned to her uh, uh, kind of chipper self and they went away and yes said oh yes it was exactly what you said Deku but there is a minor problem just look <laughs> below and yeah the corpse is no longer there and it was run away because he was escaping and they deduced that it wasn't love really he just wanted to wait for an opportunity for him to escape he didn't care about the girl because he was supposed to be abandoning her so yes it is a fun part and yes you kind of say why didn't he check perhaps he has a quirk that allowed him to pretend to be dead or something like that but yeah, it was a very comical scenario. And yeah, it's the last moment in which Baku goes, oh, no, no, this is playing dirty. And it breaks the windows. <laughs> kind of a smoke explosion thanks to the damage that Bakugo did before. It's kind of block everything. Yeah, it's, it's funny in the last part. And of course, the last few scenes are directly uh, connected to the movie because they said oh we're going to see the eye island and yes it's a weird name which is supposed to be a mobile island so they can protect the people that live there and all that yes uh, and they're going to visit that island because it received an invitation and again another Mineta moment I know and I said this in the reaction to I really really have a thing for blondes because my god that girl melissa looks just beautiful man just beautiful yes i think i need to confess that yeah i do have a thing for blondes <laughs> anyway yeah uh, uh, returning to the episode uh, yeah um, all my receiving invitations through an email uh, to visit the I island and of course and sees the symbol of peace and he knows perhaps one of the people who work in that island um he kind of can go without mayor hitch and he's going to take midoriya alongside with him and yes this is kind of the plot for the movie yeah hell even in the yeah of course they need to hurry and they have to go immediately he just told midoriya and you need to go immediately midoriya so yeah he went i assume go packing and they go to the island and yes in the extra scene we're seeing uh the confirmation that yes if you know if you want to know what's going to happen later on you need to go see the movie and all that in theaters and all that i don't have a theater that is playing that movie near me so yeah i don't think i don't think i will be watching that movie in the theaters in the theaters uh, hopefully they're going to release it on dvd or in a blu-ray and then i'm going to be buying it i don't know if i'm going to react to that one because yeah i guess they're going to be really hunting down the people who will react to the movie and it's going to be a pain in the ass to edit that out because yes i need to take out a lot of the stuff in the movie to just reach the 10 minutes i'm gonna butcher the movie in the editing room so yeah i don't think i'm gonna be reacting that unless you really wanted me but it's going to take a while guys really it's going to take a while because i'm going to wait for a good quality of the movie clip if you really want me to react to that movie anyway yeah it is directly connected to the movie it's some promotion to the movie that's completely fine as i said before if there was a theater near me that was that will be playing this movie i will be watching that in theaters but there is none so far uh, so yeah that's pretty much the episode, a very short synopsis and a very short episode. And as I said before, it is an entertaining episode, but you can see that they, don't, they didn't want to spend a lot of money in this one. 
we don't see much action. We saw a lot of talking there, which is pretty cheap to animate, really, because you need the background and you need to move the flappings and there wasn't much movement. So yeah, you can see this was very cheap to very cheaply made and just to keep you entertained for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that, counting commercials, of course. So yeah, it's it's a weird episode. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't find it fascinating. Yes, I laugh about it. I really like the funny moments, but it's not that much. And again, the plot is kind of convoluted because there is not enough information to deduce what they could deduce. So yeah, I am still on the on the fence on this one. I don't know. I'm still not completely certain. I'm not a great fan of the episode because they really interrupt something really important and something really exciting. But it was... Again, it was kind of meh in this case. It was uh, not that good, but not a bad episode. Again, this is kind of a filler episode, but among the bad ones to be honest to the main ones even not completely good uh, yeah you can see a mile away that this is a filler episode but unlike a uh, previous filler episode of this series it's not that good the Tsuyo episode it was a filler it was fantastic the first episode it was a recapitulation of the third season in the third season sorry the first episode of the third season again is kind of a filler episode but it's a good one, it's an entertaining one. And this one, not so much. So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna publish this, sure. But I'm not a great fan of it. So yeah, I cannot wait for next week so we can hopefully now really see the continuation of the last episode of episode 19. So yeah, I think I'm just stalling for time here. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction slash commentary. And yes, as always, thank you for your comments, for your likes, for your views, and for your subscriptions. If you want to uh, sus be sus Seriously, I have done this several times. I'm getting problems with this one. Yeah. If you want to be a subscriber, click on the button for subscription and on the bell so you can get notifications. Uh, and yes, if you want to follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description below. Yeah, let me know what you think about this episode. If you like it, if you didn't like it, if you enjoyed my reaction, if you didn't enjoy my reaction. So yeah, leave a comment and well, thank you for your attention, guys. And see you on the next one. Bye.